Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome everybody to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today we are going to make our way to Longneck Mikowski's. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, dog meat. Don't start. We're going to be walking by Lynn Woods again. And the Parson Creamery. Obviously, we're not going to stop in them. We got a little bit of a walk. There's that courier again. Not really much to see. Pretty boring walk. If you want, you can take out that raider camp over there as well. We're pretty much done getting all the bobbleheads and magazines. We only have a handful left to get. And after this, we'll definitely only have a handful of, well, after this episode is what I mean. We'll definitely have just a handful left to get. We're going to be heading over there. I think it's called the Mahakam fish packing plant. I think that's how it's pronounced. Mahaka or Mahakam. Over there is a settlement you can claim. I'll show uh, everybody a little more once we get done with the fish packing plan over here. I'll be able to show it a little better. Looks like we got some raiders or scavengers or something. Hey there. You think you can just jump our claim on the USS Constitution and get away with it? Get him! Oh. Well, you guys are gonna die. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Over there is Salem, which we'll be exploring here in a minute after we get through the plant here which I actually like Salem as a point of interest to go to let's go inside let's take care of this frag mine We're going to call the elevator up. We're going to have some sense that we're going to fight here once we get down. We'll see a bunch of dead raiders in this facility. Or dungeon. Sure. 
anything detected. Now we're gonna fight a bunch of synths. Really just kind of clearing this place out. Scanning. It's not really that hard. I know there's one up there. Love how criticals can just go through anything. I know you are still there. I am really damaged. Systems offline. Enemy may be utilizing stealth. How interesting. Hello. Your Goodbye. determination. It will out there. Shutting down. I didn't realize that I was in danger. Danger zone. Engaging an institute synth is foolish. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Anymore? Yeah, they're all upstairs. Come on, dog meat. Get out of the way, dude. That's the only thing I cannot stand about companions is they are always in your way. Nice. We're just going to head upstairs. We circled around. We just came in here for the magazine. And this steamer trunk. Steamer trunk really isn't that important. But the magazine was. Damaged. Also, there's a ton of terminals in here. Uh, for those of you lure seekers. Bye, dog meat. Our movement and destruction of fellow synth verified. Uh, probably shouldn't have done that. Is someone present? No one's present. Where did that synth go? Oh. There it is. Synth damaged. Damn it. This guy is going to be annoying, isn't he? Now I understand. You are hiding because you fear death. Let's go outside. We're going to have a few more synths to fight. One right there. Ooh, it's a trooper. I should have built up my critical again. How interesting. Thank you. Set. There's one more over here. He's got a baton. Let's get the guy. Oh. He picked up a weapon. I am under attack. I think that's all of them. I know there's one more left, but maybe he's on top of the building. Either way, it doesn't really make a difference. We can stand up and head out of here.
We're going to be heading to the Museum of Witchcraft next. We're going to get a side quest in there, but we're not going to finish it up until next episode. Over to the right is this group manor, the uh, settlement I was talking about uh, earlier before the fish packing plant. If you go up there, you can clear it out and make it into a settlement. It's pretty cool. Um, kind of a lot of debris in the way that you can't get rid of. So it may be something that people like, but then again, it may not be just because of the way that the settlement is. Let's crouch. We have a Myrler Queen off in the distance. Let's take her out with steel. Keep moving. <laughs> oh, she still managed to get me. Stand back up. There should be... Yep, a crab. Ooh, we got a level. This level will go into ninja. Jiggle, 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 what? We have a few hollow tapes to listen to, um, actually just two, but um, here in the Museum of Witchcraft. Let's listen to Private Hearts hollow tape. Some creepy stuff going on. Doesn't look like the uh, gunners had a good time. This has always been such a cool place, in my opinion. I always love this little side quest just because of how creepy and dark it is compared to. Um, some of the other parts of Fallout 4. Take out the Deathclaw. That's what killed the Gunners. Which, if there were that many Gunners, they really died to one Deathclaw? Eh. I don't know. Ah, a nest 
full of death claw eggs. A dozen, maybe more. Smashed to bits. Except this one. No wonder they won't tell us what was in that case. If I'd known, I would have personally told the gunner bosses and that glorified liquor cabinet Wellingham to take those Diamond City caps and stuff them. I guess we know why that death claw tracked us all the way from Lynn Woods now. We stole her damn kids. Christ. Maybe. Maybe if we just return the eggs. Oh, hey, Mama. You looking for this? There we go. Grab the grognak. Now, I believe. <laughs> don't quote me on this one. I think that's our last Grognak the Barbarian. Let's go outside. Like I said earlier, we will turn that uh, little side quest in on the next video. Probably not going to commentate over it. I'm just going to show the location on the map in my Pip-Boy and then... Show me returning the eggs. Or egg. What? Where is there an enemy? I don't see an enemy. That is so weird. Is it down over here? What's that saying? Over my dead body? Let's just stay crouched for now. We're going to go into Sandy Cove. Welcome to Sandy Cove's convalescent home. How may I help you? I'm checking in. My family filled out the paperwork earlier. Well, welcome. We'll put you in Gladys's old room. Take the back stair and it's the first door on your left. Have a nice day. Let's hack this terminal and we're going to open up the door over there. Now let's just loot everything. Perfect. Grab our Massachusetts Surgical Journal. A pack syringe that uh, causes poison damage if you use it with a syringer. Welcome to Sandy Cove. You picked the wrong day to tick me off. Take these Meyer lurks out. It's going to take a lot more than some big fish to scare me. There's one. Woo! Gotcha, two. There's the other one. Over here. I ain't running out of ammo anytime soon, Krabby. Oh, damn. I exploded that thing. It's going to take a lot more than some big fish to scare me. Are you crazy? Get out of the street before any more of them catch wind of you. Look, I'll open the gate and you get in here quick. I'm going to let you in the bunker. Don't make me regret this. I love this interaction. Son, did someone drop you on your head as a baby, or did you have to work to get this stupid? I could have handled myself. Oh, I saw how you handle yourself, froze on the spot like a deer in headlights. 
If it weren't for me, you would have been cut up like a paper doll. Luckily, I've got Reba here to help me crack those crabs wide open. Isn't that right, girl? Who's Reba? Are, are you talking about your gun? She's not just a gun. She's top of the line. Best gun in the Commonwealth. Made her with my own two hands. Oh, where are my manners? Introductions. Barney Rook, commander of the Salem Volunteer Militia, at your service. I'm also the quartermaster, sergeant at arms, and scribes for all official meetings. This here is Reba. But you two already met when she saved your life. Thank you, Reba. And thank you, Barney. No thanks needed, sir. The Salem Volunteer Militia is at the service of the people of the Commonwealth. Duty is its own reward. Reba says you're welcome. Now, I'd love to sit here gabbing all day like a couple of housewives. But we've got some work to do. And by we, I most definitely mean you. Before you showed up, the Meyer Lurks had been mostly quiet. And those that were a problem were quickly dispatched by my turret defense system. Since things had been quiet lately, I took the turrets offline to conserve ammunition. Obviously, they need to be reactivated. And that's your mission, soldier. I'm going to continue to hold down the home front while you go reactivate the turrets. What's in it for me? Look, don't tell Reba, but I've been working on a sister for her in my spare time. I'm thinking of calling her Reba, too. She's in the back room. She's not as tough as her older sister, but she's all yours if you help me out. Reba would probably get jealous anyway. The turrets should be easy enough to find. They're up high in strategic locations around town. Just be careful. All your noise probably woke up more crabbies and other mire lurks. The town could be crawling with them by now. Let's go over here and grab the guns and bullets magazine Perfect. before we exit the bunker. And then we'll go turn on the turrets. Let's crouch. We're going to have some Meyer Lurks when we get to the top here. Meyer Lurks are just kind of all over the town. Obviously. Kind of seems to be the theme here. Definitely some more over here. Let's turn on the turret. Seems like dog meat's getting his butt kicked. We'll turn on the second turret over here as well. Power lines are freaking out. We only have three more. Dog meat is really getting beat up down there, isn't he? We'll take the stairs down this way. Shouldn't be too many more Meyer Lurks around, but 
better to be safe. Let's stand up. If any other Mirelurks are here, we should be able to take them out pretty easily. Especially with having two of the five turrets on. Mini nuke down here and some 308 rounds, by the way. I believe that's always there as well. Just hop down this way. Shouldn't take any damage. Turn on this turret. I don't know why I crouched again. Sounds like there's a Mire Lurk over here. There is. Let's go take him out real quick. Might as well since we're over here. They put their heads down so that their shell covers it. I think that's really cool um, gameplay wise. Yeah, I know you found something dog meat, but I am not worried about it. Downstairs, there's a safe. There we go. We have all the turrets turned back on. Hey, Barney. You did it, didn't you? Huh? I could hear that sweet, sweet machine gun music all the way down here. You almost caught me in Reba Midwalls. No problem, Barney. Glad to be of service. Well, Reba and I appreciate it. We won't soon forget you. Now, about that reward. Here's a key to my workshop in the bunker. Reba, too, should be sitting on the table in there. I'd say you earned her. Now, if you'll excuse me, I believe today is earmarked for some target practice. The Salem Volunteer Militia never rests. He's a really cool character, but I wonder what made him kind of a hermit, but not like, he's not Bingo. a mean or um, asshole, like hermit. He He's really nice. Uh, but I wonder what caused him to kind of be here. And I mean, maybe some of his dialogue explains it more. Maybe there's a terminal or something that explains more of his backstory. I'm sure somebody on uh, YouTube has deciphered his story. There is, I thought I heard a Meyer Lurk. I was like, where the hell do I hear a Meyer Lurk coming from? Somehow we missed one. Also, I mean, dog meats, nails, or pitter patter on the cement kind of sound a little bit like a Meyer Lurk. Not much, but enough to be like, oh, is there one rolling up on me or what? Instead of going straight, we're going to hang a left around this red trailer. We're going to crouch, put on some Radix, because we're about to fight the Children of Adam. And I never like fighting the Children of Adam because they hurt. Ooh. I should have saved a critical. 
Treachery. What is this tomfoolery? I don't like that they throw nuka grenades either. Those things hurt quite a bit. Just keep your radex on and rat away. You're gonna need it. Trust me on that. <laughs> uh, my <son>. no, no. <laughs> Grant me wings of fire, brothers. <laughs> uh, fucking nuke a grenade, man. One more. Get away from me. Dog meat took the full force of that nuke a grenade. Damn, poor dog. Can you die, sir? Oh my god. Really? Worst time to be reloading. Taking a bunch of radiation to the face. We have been called to end your suffering. Oh, there's one more? Where are you at? Let's go take care of him. Nah, oh, poor dog meat. Come here. Let's give you a stim pack. Every ear shall be stricken deaf to hear the thunk. Come back, defiler. Face judgment. Oh, I am. <laughs> Die, fool. Let's just take some more radex. Bad roach meat. I just don't want to be taking too much radiation damage. Don't really have the build for uh, radiation. And then we're going to grab this uh, Wasteland Survival Guide. Go. That will help us take less damage from bug enemies or insect enemies. We're almost done here. Also, there's a safe here as well, along with an ammo box. If anybody was wanting to loot those. Over there is another settlement, one of my favorite settlements, just because of the lighthouse, and it's just really cool to build in. So if you would like to take that on as a settlement, be prepared to take out some Children of Adam. <laughs> no, blood bug. Let's heal our radiation here. Big old pipe in the road. What? That was random. Jesus, can can you die, sir? Here's Long Neck Lukowski's cannery. Let's go inside. Ants, you can't only take ten cans. 
You know, it tastes better than that old cram or bramen that's been sitting out in the sun for days. Uh, there, there are people out there who are hungry. You just gotta sell up the product a bit more. I'm sorry, but ten cans is all I can commit to right now. It was selling like crazy for a while there, but there's been talk about people getting sick. People, people get sick all the time. That, that, that has nothing to do with my product. Besides, I mean, I'm, I'm only selling the meat you people bring me. If there's something wrong with it, it's your own damn fault. Oh, so now it's my fault? Forget it, the deal's off. You want to sell your product to the people out there? Then you can get out there and do it your damn self. What? Hey, oh, oh, come on. Fine, leave. You'll be back. Bitch. Excuse me. Hey, sorry about giving you the brush off in there. Theo just gets on my last nerve, you know what I mean? Yeah. Not a fan of pushy salesmen myself. He's always talking about upselling the product and establishing brand recognition. Been reading too many of those old books, if you ask me. Did people really think like that back then? Anyway, enough about Theo. Care to see what I've got for sale? What was that in there about people getting sick? Theo got that old cannery up and running about a year or so back and convinced me and some of the other traders to start bringing his cans around. It was all good and well for a while, but in the past couple months, I've had people complain about getting sick after eating it. Don't get me wrong. Not like people dying or anything. Just, I don't know. The sales have slumped off and Theo's gotten more uppity. I'm sure I have something you're looking for. You should have a look. Where did you get that vault suit? Hmm. Never been to 81, I take it. I grew up there, but left to be a trader. Here, let me show you where it is. Nice pit boy, by the way. Mine was a piece of junk. Threw it out years ago. So, can I interest you in a trade? Do you want to set up a permanent shop? I know the perfect place. You've got yourself a deal. Trader Riley is a special trader you can get to go to your settlement. And she'll sell some pretty high tier gear if you put her at a trading post. So I sent her to Sanctuary, by the way. Let's go back inside here. <laughs> yeah, welcome to have a look. But uh, stay out of the old basement. It isn't safe down there. He seems very shady and he very much is. This you can open up and there is a hole in the canister. You can go behind and uh, get some items. You can also open that up too. Some items in there as well. I'm just showing everybody that you can open them up. I'm not going to go in there. As always, minimal looting. We're going to grab the barter bobblehead. Excellent. And then we're going to grab Tales of a Junk Town Jerky Vendor. Bingo. Loot that. We want to get that stuff now so we don't have to come up here later. And there's a reason why you don't want to have to do all that. Not that it's impossible, but you have to get up on that platform and then hop down. And you'll see why in just a bit here. Let's take the elevator down. If we don't run into poles, that is. Going down. Local elevator controls disabled by system administrator. Over. Then we get the quest mystery meat.
Should be one more over here. Guess he's up top. We're just clearing out the ghouls. Again, this is pretty linear uh, stuff. Nothing special, nothing intricate. I like to use vats here because the ghouls are kind of hiding in the water. So I'll go around and use vats where I can. So I can find the ghouls. I think that is all of them. Let's put on some more radix. Eh, I, I really didn't have to use vats there, but eh, too late. What? How are you still alive, sir? Oh, my aim sucks. There's another one down the way. Let's just reload before we come in here. Cool, right there. Then we have a glowing one right here. Worst shooter ever. <laughs> I have horrible aim. I know it. At least I'm willing to admit it. It's one good thing. There's a few feral ghouls over here. Take him out that way. Pretty sure. Yeah, there he is. Then there's one more right here. That way you don't have to deal with them when you step in the water and they all pop up. Say peekaboo. There is a turret right over here, but we can just shoot it. Dog meat, you are asking to be shot, sir. There's a frag mine on the ground. Be careful. There's one more right here. Also, some trip wires. If you feel the need to disarm them, I don't feel the need. Um, and then an ammo box, which I got flares that are very very useless to me so that noise right there was him blowing up the scaffolding I told you to stay out of the basement now that you know my little secret, I'll just have to kill you. Ooh, you lucky bastard.
Let's take care of the robots. Now we can stand up. I like to just loot all this meat. There's just so much of it and you can use it for your settlement. Is there a ghoul? Could have swore I heard a ghoul. And then lastly, well, let's take the Brahmin meat as well. Lastly, let's get the Coast Guard hat and the Sea Captain hat. And then we'll head outside. I'll see everybody out there. Let's put our gun away and then we will end the video. I would like to start by thanking everybody for stopping by. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe. And as always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.